Hi guys, it's Ray. I am going to do a Tacket Method um, cup with Super Chameleon pigments from Solar Color Dust. This one has a shift with a green and a purple and I believe a gray. Um, I'm going to apply that with a makeup brush. I would normally use a bigger makeup brush, but I don't have a clean one, so I'm going to use a smaller one. But first, I'm going to do a 50-50 um, Aileen's Tacket over and over again mixed with water. I'm going to do two coats of that. So I'm just going to brush it on. Fairly thin coat. It doesn't take much. I have quite a bit mixed up. Um, because I couldn't find my other batch that was already mixed, so I made up a fresh batch. But it'll stay mixed and good for quite some time. You don't want to overwork it, because it'll start to pull itself back off as it starts to dry, if that makes sense. And then it'll start to like beat up and have little white gooeys. But just brush it on. And make sure you get the bottom of your cup if you do your bottoms. And I'm just showing you the technique for this cup because I don't actually have a plan for it. Yet. So. But I'm doing this over a black base, a base for the chameleon flakes. So I'm going to let this dry for 20, 30, 45 minutes and then I'll be back to do the second coat. Okay, I am ready for coat number two. Uh, do resist the urge to touch your cup to see if it's tacky. I promise you it is. You can see how the paintbrush was sticking to the lid. It's tacky. If you stick your fingers to it, you're likely to pull up your coat. That was a little thicker than I wanted. So I'm going to try and work. That's a bristle from the brush. I'm going to try and work some of this that way rather than put more on. And definitely do this on an arm if you can, just so you have something to hold on to. If not, you can use a, um, a Dollar Tree paper towel holder with a pool noodle or something stuck to it. I'll show you one of those in a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. For those that don't have removable arms on their turners, they're a good alternative for something like this. I don't use mine a whole lot since I made my turners this way a couple years ago, but sometimes I do. So. I'm going to set this on the drying rack and give it about 15-20 minutes and it should be ready to go. This is just a Dollar Tree paper towel holder. Um, you would stick the roll of paper towels over it. This is just a couple, a small pool noodle with a half a chunk tape around it. And you just stuff a cup on there and it'll hold it and you can spin it. It's not as easy to spin, but 
it does give you a good base to hold on to and then you can just flip it right upright and it'll hold your cup in place so if you don't have removable arms they're great to have handy i'm gonna go ahead and close this tacket up i won't need it till next time i'm gonna immediately wash this brush and i will be back okay i'm gonna grab my black cup in a minute but i'm gonna open this up like I said, I'm going to use a smaller makeup brush because I don't have a bigger, like, blush, brush, whatever. I don't do makeup. I don't really know makeup brushes. But again, this is Solar Color Dust Super Chameleon Pigments, gray, green, and dark purple. So I'm going to open that up. That way I'm just ready to go. You can see where the cap took on purple, and this looks just green. So, let me grab my cup. I'm going to get gloves on quick, too. Because I don't want to touch my tacket or my pigments. This is a very small jar of pigment, but it should be plenty. I'm going to try and apply it with the brush, but I may switch to using my hands a little bit. So. Alright, this is my cup after two coats. And a little goes a long way. So. I'm just going to dust it on. And it's unfortunate that. <laughs> um, you can mostly just see the green. I'm guessing. But I can see the purple down the sides. And you can see with this where my um, tacket wasn't as smooth as I would have liked. But if you do a dragon scale cup, this is a great um, coat method for that. Top coat. These chameleon flakes come in, or pigments, come in all different color schemes. So, I'm going to go ahead in with my hand and rub some of that on. Burnish them down. Hopefully you can see the purple down the side here. the way my light is the top is just showing the green currently um, they make a chrome dust one of these a gold dust there's all kinds of different color combinations available. <clears throat> this one is from Solar Color Dust, a known brand, but I do have a ton of um, off-brand generic type versions of these. And like I said, the smoother you get your tacket, the smoother your product's going to go on. So this one's not perfect. That wasn't the perfect brush to be using, but it's okay. It's still a really cool cup, regardless. The green is just so vibrant on the top. hoping I can work out that one spot, but I'm not going to be able to. So I'm just brushing it now to make sure I get any loose powder off of it. But 
you can see where the color shifts from green to blue to purple and it almost actually looks gold this is supposed to be a three color shift but i'm seeing four and five but i'm going to set this aside a minute i'm going to go ahead and get some resin mixed up and get some resin on this cup quick okay i'm going to get some resin on this cup now so i'm just going to drizzle a little bit on to start I've got a couple other cups to coat, so I don't want to contaminate. My mixing cup. I'm just going to dump a little bit on my fingers to get the bottom. Okay. That's plenty. Get my bottom coated. I'm just going to get this smoothed on. And I'm lifting a tiny bit of the pigment, but not too, too much. I had it all pretty well burnished in. That little pot says it's a gram. And I would say... Um, I could probably get three cups out of that. I probably could get more if I was a little more sparing when I started brushing it. If I had brushed a little and burnished it in and brushed a little bit more. But, um, so I would say three to four cups depending on size out of a gram of the chameleon powders. So, not terrible. I think it's at a gram anyways. It's really tiny writing. All right, I'm going to take my gloves off so I can hit this with the torch real quick. Because I don't really want any bubbles in this coat. Quick with the heat. Keep it moving. Black at the bottom. And it will self-level and smooth itself out as it goes so uh, this is as much as you're going to see of this cup it is just a teaching technique not a show you a full tutorial so i'm going to go ahead and bring you down and swing you over so you can see more of what's going on with the colors in this cup it's not just that green and even the green shifts but the bottom's that purple so tack it method for a chameleon powder pigment i'm just coming back again to show you how this looks without the ring light with just the regular room lights on just to see if you can pick up more of the color shifting properties can see how it goes green and then back towards the purple and the purple to the green and blue and purple. Alright, that was it. I just wanted to show you in a different light.